Hey guys, this is Joe East here. We're up in Mexico here, last day, and so um, I wanted to uh, say something because we got some interesting, perhaps hilarious news. Let me get my hat on. Um, so you guys probably, uh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Uh, Mr. Trump got uh, impeached yesterday by the House of Representatives, so I also wanted to make a, a funny note about that so uh, you guys learn the lesson here of what the real lesson is, not what your parents taught you, not what your church taught you, not what your dumb school teachers taught you, but what, say, Trump is teaching you and what guys like me are going to teach you here. So what you have to understand here on a fundamental level is this is an example of sex polarity in action. Now, those of you who shrink from the term sex and want to use some other word, that's the problem. You're scared of tension. So ask yourself, how do I increase tension to get a larger flow of whatever the fuck I want? Money, power, influence, sex, love, whatever the hell you want, doesn't matter. How do you increase the freaking tension and step into it, right? That's how, that's, how, that's how you become successful. So those of you who have made a few million dollars or pulled in a few million dollars for a company, you know what I'm talking about. If you can't deal with tension, you're not going to make the millions, the millions are not going to flow to you or your company if you cannot step into the tension. You will never be successful if you cannot step into the fucking tension. Now, if you don't like the F word I just said, that's another example of you being scared of stepping into the tension of saying the F word. Fuck. See? It's no big deal to those of us who know how to step into tension. So Trump is rich and successful because he steps into the tension. He ain't scared of it. His opponents think he's scared, and if they crank up the tension too much, he's going to go, oh my God, I'm not going to do that. No, he doesn't give a shit. He knows tension is where you get the action. So his opponents always lose because they're afraid to step into the tension of sex polarity. Think about it. He's an alpha male. His opponents probably are not alpha males. So uh, if you're his opponents are, say, bureaucrats sitting behind a desk, not used to negotiating big deals, that polarity, that tension, oh my God, and chasing after, say, beautiful women like Trump does, so he's used to that tension, who's going to win? The guy who can do most tension. Business, love, sex, power, whatever, it doesn't matter. Tension is tension. It's sex. That's the fundamental rule of the universe. And if you study foreign languages, most languages aside from English, you'll see what masculine and feminine and neuter it's a fundamental core part of humanity the sex polarity uh, so impeachment to his opponent seems like too much pressure and polarity to them because they're they're not used to the pressure of business relationships negotiations sex whatever the hell you know that he's used to which he's very used to all kinds of tension they can't handle it, so they think they're mirror imaging. Oh my God, if I try to if I impeach this guy, he's going to be so scared and run away. No, he loves tension. He knows tension is where he creates the action to create the boom energy to get what he wants. So he understands sucks sex on a fundamental level and uses the tension to get what he wants. Now you get it? How he can win, how he does. He's like, most people are like, oh my God, he's breaking all the rules. Um, how can he win? Oh my God, he's not going to win this one. Oh my God, he's not. he can't win this. Yes, he can, because he understands sex polarity. You build the fucking tension, and then energy flows. That's how, you, that's how you get shit done. The universe operates on that light and dark, hot, cold. You can't have heat flow without a differential uh, heat, one object hotter than the other. And the heat flows. And our tension, you're pushing up against something. How do you make something move? Well, you create tension to push. It's all sex. And if you don't like that word, you have a problem. you got to go fix your ability to handle tension. So you will never be successful until you understand sex polarity in some way. Some people are very good at all of them, like Trump is. And, you know, some people are good at, say, the business end of things, relationships. Some people are really good at the love thing. Trump's probably being successful at all of them, which means he's a very dangerous guy to uh, be in opposition to. However, if you want to be successful in your area, you need to find the sex polarity in the area you want to be successful in. Create the tension. Step into it. Use it as energy. So that there you go. That That's what's going on here with impeachment and why you think... Uh, Trump is laughing his ass off because <laughs> he's he loves attention. He understands that's how you get what you want. You increase the polarity, increase the sex polarity. You're not afraid of the S word or the F word, right? So.
Hope you guys learning something from this. Watch this closely because you're going to see a difference between the, the alpha who knows how to handle this polarity and step into it versus the losers who uh, don't understand it and will never understand it because they um, they want a comfortable life. They want an easy life. They hate tension, so they're going to be fat, lazy, and sloppy in a metaphorical way, not necessarily concrete or literal, but you know, fat, lazy, and sloppy because they want to be comfortable. See that? If you want to be comfortable, you, you, can, you don't understand this. You don't get it. If you want a comfy job, you want a safer retirement, you want to retire and go travel the world and drink fucking you know, cocktails and shit, you want comfort, so you never understand this shit. But if you love the tension, you love it, that's the secret. Hope you guys learned something here. I'm going to uh, sign off. I'll probably talk too much like people say, but I don't give a fuck anyway. So anyway, uh, take care out there. Be safe, and uh, we'll talk to you later. i got to go pack my bags and drink some coffee so I can go back to the United States. Goodbye. Bye.